Here's how to use UDIMs in Cinema 4D, including two gotchas that will trip you up. So first off, we have our UDIMs all laid out in Substance Painter, and we need to export them out. Now notice this Yatai has six UV tiles, and the first tile in this UV set is 1002. Now that's very important. Now we're gonna go ahead and export, and then once in Cinema 4D, we just have to drag and drop our materials into our node editor. We'll start easy with just the octopus. It's got one texture, we'll plug it in, and it looks good. Okay, and then we'll go to the ground, and we'll drag and drop all those UDIMs in there, plug them all in. Now where we're gonna have the issues is the Yatai. We're gonna grab one of each of the 1002 texture sets and drag them all in to start with, and we'll just plug them all up. And once we plug in everything in, you see everything looks really janky because we're only referencing one of those UDIM tiles, 1002. So what we gotta do is go in, replace the 1002 with less than sign UDIM and then greater sign. And then once you do that, it should reference all the UDIMs, but you're seeing that something broke here. It's not working. Now, the one gotcha with our setup is that our UDIMs for this material group started with 1002. Cinema 4D does not recognize it unless you have a UDIM tile that has 1001 existing in it. So it's a bit of a manual process, but the fix for this is to literally just create a dummy texture that has 1001 in the file name. It can be any image as long as it has 1001 and it'll fix it. So once we do that manually, duplicate everything from the color, metalness, roughness, etc. Then we can go and load it up again and you'll see it'll jog Cinema 4D's memory and it will now recognize all of the different UV tiles and we'll see that our texture looks great. Right, I hope this quick tip helped you and helps you avoid all these issues I ran into. If you like it, be sure to leave a like and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.